All right, we right back at it. Y'all can see the zoom out of what we've done so far. I did start naming districts last episode off camera, of course. Elsewhere is our little starter square. Started up there at the top. Edgewood is our little industrial area. And what I'm drawing in right now will end up later on being a little trailer park. I don't have a name for this yet, but I am just going to kind of mark the spot so I can kind of remember. And this episode, we're going to jump back up into Starlet. If you do remember, we had a blank spot up here that I wanted to save for some school, maybe a one or two commercial assets. And then I want to put some like um, nicer houses up on this. These are some nice suburban homes here, but we want to put some even nicer stuff up on the hill. Something that looks all uniform like it was built by one development company. I need a one by two key. So I'm going to start by just lining this whole area with a fence. It's kind of gated. Definitely stay off the grass. These going to be like some of them Stepford Wives type houses, man. Everything going to be kind of well maintained, even though they're really, really close to those train tracks. I'm not going to lie. I wish I had a tiny bit more space to work with, but it's all good, man. We're going to work with what we got. Like I said, put some nice, some of these DK Suburban joints up on this hill. I like this house pack. It comes with a lot of different types of houses, some smaller, really small, like trailer, almost mobile home type homes. So this is kind of what we're basing this little area off of. Uh, off camera and side note, I've been working on the backstory for the whole city. And again, I didn't want to reveal too much because I honestly didn't even know if the city was going to die. Like, why waste a good story? You know what I'm saying? Over four episodes or whatever. But I have started working with that. I got some cool AI images to help illustrate everything. I have family tree. It's going to be really in-depth. But it basically tells the story about the two families that they weren't they didn't found rivergate they didn't they they you know they didn't start it but they ultimately were the most prominent and they were the movers and shakers of their day and pr pretty much their story is the story of rivergate it's gonna be real dope so y'all stay tuned for that uh anywho up on this hill i wanted to build a little kind of square a little historical square kind of I'm, a, I'm i am gonna detail it but i'm gonna leave most of it kind of blank because you know you can get in the comments and tell me kind of some assets that y'all have seen that might work in this little area right now i'm using a part of po that i've never got to use before i think it might only work with these this one uh set of surfaces but you can just like put the surface down and you draw the points man look at this is amazing right like what but i think it only works with that one set of surfaces so i'm actually gonna start doing that a lot more like I said, get in the comments. Let me know uh, some stuff I can add to this. It's got to be very small. Got to be more like props, not really assets. But uh, check me out, man. Watch me flex. I promise I'm not going to hold y'all. I am on them 1950s pop joints. Anyway, moving right on. We need to put a school right here. Quick thing. Not going to take too much time. Uh, not going to really be able to do no bunch of crazy. And that's half the point of having a small map. Don't get lost in them. Don't get bogged down by the minutiae. Don't need it. We're just going to put a little quick. Uh, I think this is one of the Sim City Elementary Schools. It's really small and low key. Surface paint some of this up. I am gonna like detail this. We're not gonna leave it looking raggedy. 
Let's get that eye here. Drop down this I'm Peach joint, and this is actually, if it's not already, it will soon be recoded into a commercial, uh, eco commercial. I like using the eco commercial on some of the commercial builders that definitely wouldn't, you know, have a, a, a juice place would definitely be kind of sourcing that stuff, especially a juice place in this neighborhood. They you know, don't be bringing that, uh, don't bring your food line fruit. You better bring it for, they won't farm the table. Y'all know how they get busy. We're gonna uh, half up this basketball decal just to give them a half court situation. You know, they probably don't even really play too much basketball out here. Just let the kids come out and have a little bit of fun. Education is very important. Reading is fundamental and you are uh, definitely gonna have to, I mean, really think about this. This is our first school. Like we, we don't have any other schools in the city. Everybody gotta come back here and go to school. And <laughs> I mean, I know that's ridiculous. You're supposed to do stuff like that in like maybe your first or second episode, but we're getting there. Don't worry. We will have more schools. We will have more everything, but we need more money first. You can see even right now, I'm teetering on the edge. I only got a few bags, but we're going to use those few bags to lay down some of these junipers, these good old June bugs to line this school campus. And um, to be completely honest, I'm like five or six episodes episodes wow uh, ahead of where y'all are right now. So I get I've already seen how all this plays out. I'm already on a slightly different part of the map. This is gonna be so crazy, man. I really hope y'all hang around and stay around. Check out my madness. We've already crossed the Rubicon. The one thing I was worried about is the tax situation taking us down, and that it, I know that's not gonna be a factor. I could start stretching out a little bit. Right now, though, I'm just laying down some of the vanilla park assets to kind of create a little play area for the younglings. Got to get them somewhere for their frivolity and whatnot. You know what I'm talking about? Little tables for the teachers to sit at and complain and be mad that they don't get paid more, which they absolutely should. Like, in my perfect world, teachers would be more famous and well-paid than athletes. Anyway, we got to add some bushes right here and some commercial to the main drag. Here we go. People of Starlet are definitely stuck in their little era, in their little 50s, you know, a simpler time. Oh, you think so? Anyway, we need to lay down one little industrial asset right here. I kind of been meaning to do this. We need to get keep the, the balance together. I don't want to see any needs of goods or anything like that. So I just picked this one little spot right here to just throw this one little building. It's not going to be nothing major, but I'm also going to add two like little farming assets. These are like the farming industrial buildings. I honestly don't even know how well all this will function down here in this little cut. I don't use a lot of vanilla assets. I don't know what the traffic is like. I don't know what the uh, consumption rates and the uh, outputs and I don't even know, but I want to have at least just bearing in mind that I do want to have my eco stuff all in house at some point. So we, you know, might as well start somewhere and just check it out. I promise I'm y'all, I'm not going to detail this to death. I'm just going to do a little, just enough to make it sexy in the cinematics. Y'all know we got the short cinematics these days. It'd be like 10 shots or something, man. I really got to make the 10 shots count. So I appreciate that. I appreciate all the love y'all been showing to the series, getting them comments, telling people to tell people to subscribe because it's definitely moving in a positive direction. So let's keep that going. I like that. Uh, that pretty much brings this episode to a close. I know y'all mad in the comment, bro, the episode's all short. Relax, my boy. You getting two or three of them things a week. We working on this side. Stay tapped in, though.